Hey, this is Al Spath here with you today. All you poker players just sat down at a 50 cent $1 table, losing my religion. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna be losing my virginity. Anyhow, I'm sitting here with these folks throwing around money. Now I gotta watch out for this 891, he's very short. I don't like this flop at all. I think I'm gonna go right in the middle of there and go six dollars and see where they're at. There you go. Get on the plus side of the hundred. It's very, very loose game here. It looks like it just sat down, but it's very loose. I'm Teach here at Full Flush. And if you don't have a full flush account, go to heartbeatpoker.net and you can download it there and you can have access to a lot of other free rolls and special uh, prize added games. So if you're part of Full Flush, great. But if you're not, get a, a new account through heartbeatpoker.net. Oh, we do like that. Let's go. Let's go three here and just see what kind of action we get. Yeah, we got one. No sense going low, so we got another one here, so we can we can re-raise here, so, but we don't want to re-raise too much, but we don't want to give him, uh, I can't go any lower than that. Okay, we got it all in. I could have taken a side pot against him. Old boat will do it every time. So, decent cards there to start. Fives and aces, the first two hands were not, not so good. I'm Al Spath, two words up at YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe. It's free. I've got over 95 videos up there to help you out. Learn this game, the cash game, the tournament game. Just escaping the micro limits is what you want to do. You want to be able to build your bankroll down here. And at Twitch, follow me when I go live on Twitch. It's Al Spath, one word. Please follow me there. Please pass this on to your friends, along with the heartbeatpoker.net link. I'd appreciate that so very much. Pocket Jacks, pretty good hand. <clears throat> I don't care what Cyber does here. I'll re-raise him. He's not coming in for 50 cents. <laughs> it would have cost him about three dollars. Let's make it two, see what he wants to do. Thank you. I've got the best position. <clears throat> the cards aren't good. Three checks, then it's up to me. Or three folds, I should say. Would I have put some money under him? Maybe 35, 40% of the time, just because of the button. But I'm not, I'm not obliged to do it 65 to 100% of the time. He would have called mine as well. More apt to call mine because I'm later positioned than this guy here. If he has a jack, he's he's really just killed himself. Wow, he had the royal draw. Jack nine is not a bad hand, but it's not a good hand, folks. And it's definitely not a good hand when somebody raises in front of you. Those of you that have questions about poker or want to seek out some training for yourself or a friend or gift somebody for the holiday season, you can contact me at alspath at alspath.com. That's my email. And I'm offering a special from now to January 1st, Open Mic. Open Mic is you come on Skype with me. You can play, and I'll shadow you and provide you a lesson and train. 
or you can watch me ask questions and I'll provide the training and I'll be asking questions to you as well. That's only going to cost you $25. You can pay that PayPal or you can pay that with a check in advance. It's a special deal. It's a special offer. You should take advantage of it. And you can gift those to friends too. Pay for them and gift them. You want to make some money along with enjoying playing this game. You've got to seek out a coach or mentor, somebody to help you, some books to read, some material to read. It doesn't have to be me. It can be anybody out there, but make sure that they are compatible with you, that are going to give you the opportunity to do what you need to do. And that's win. If you go to the playlist that I have at YouTube under Al Spath, two words, and click on it, you'll see that there's an open mic category there. And I've already done two or three presentations where I talked with Rob Gag, I talked with uh, Two Isles, and uh, you can hear the conversations, you can see how it goes, and you can judge for yourself whether or not you want to be involved in something like that. You know, if you're not interested in advancing your game and you just like to do it for fun and you're watching these videos now because you're just kind of curious, I understand that too. A lot of people don't want to, you know, invest in a coach or to invest time in learning. They'd rather just play and have fun and play too many hands and things like that. That's, that's fine. It's your money. Queen nine is not a great hand here. If I'm first, I will raise with it. If it's raised before me, I'll fold it. I'll fold it. And if it was a couple of lippers before me, I would probably just call the 50 cents and see the flop. I'm not obliged to raise with the queen nine and be out of position in that situation. I'll raise if I'm first here. Now, he put a dollar in under the gun. Don't... I don't like the hand. It's a trouble hand. The $13 concerns me here that he wants to push that that in. He's looking to hit something and get it all in, in the middle. And I'd rather have more money. I'd rather be up against more money. Some of you that are playing would rather be up against short stacks because you don't want to get hit or get beat. But that's that's saying to everybody that you don't have the skills to compete. Maybe you don't at that level, and you're fearful of losing your money. And if you're not sitting with a full stack, you don't have enough in your bankroll, and you need to go back down a level and check it out. It's all going in here for cyber. And he's only got a nine. See, that's what I was afraid of. Getting in with him with just crap cards and uh, somebody else coming along and picking me off see if he has a king no you notice I just want a half pot then The idea is to win here, folks. Now, Cyber's sitting out. I don't know if he's going to reload or somebody else is going to come in. But I've got to keep my eye on that. That's my job. I'm playing five-handed. I need to know what's going on at the table. I need to know that there's 200, 100. I need to know that there's a little short stack here and a bigger stack here. I need to know all those things without me just playing oblivious here. So he, he, full, he checked, I bet. If he bets, I fold. Just the same thing. Just It's an automatic. So if you're playing against me and you want to get my money, do that. But I might have a hand, so be careful. That's an easy one. Whoa. It may be D-C-F-I-T-Z is going to go away or he's going to put it all in. He's not going to call there. Thumper said he had a hand, and he's out of position in the big line. He must have had a big one. And he's got 204, so he's made $104 at the table. 
Notice I saw the red mark. I need to watch up here. I got a new player coming in. What I'm interested in seeing is where he's from and how much he brings to the table. So it'll give me a little information without even playing against the person. Just in the fact that it stayed red here and he hasn't sat down yet, it's given me some information. Jack four is going in the muck. This guy likes the 250 bet, which is the pop bet. One dollar. 50 plus his bet would have, won, would have been one dollar so it's 250 that's a pot size bet for those of you trying to figure out how you get how do you come up with a pot size bet oh cyber came back look 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 he went and found some more money see Today is the 9th of November, and two more days we'll be celebrating Veterans Day here in the United States. For those of you that have served, those of you that have lost uh, family members, we salute you and honor you on that day. Having served 24 years in the Air Force myself, I know what it means to be thanked for my service, and I thank you if you've served. You wonder why I didn't play the ace deuce. Well, ace deuce to me up in the up front is really a lousy hand to be playing, so I I don't get involved in it. I don't like really ace rag at all, but if it was suited, I might think about playing it for, for a raise. It's just three percent better, but it still can give you a flush or a straight, or you might hit some other cards. I like having that option. That's an easy fold with ten two. Thumper says I picked up a hand. Let's put him on ace jack or better here. Maybe even a pocket pair of sevens, I was gonna say, but let's let's give him ace jack, pocket sevens, maybe maybe queen king. If he had sevens here, he would check. He would check maybe with ace jack at that point too. Now he's going to bet $5 or four. Oh. <laughs> that's a guy that's that's got the pocket sevens more than likely or pocket five and got a full house. He's just trying to get somebody to call him, thinking he's trying to steal it. Thumper. Ten dollars over to three dollars again. He's doing it from the big blind. We really want to see him at showdown here and get get an idea of what he's doing and what he's playing. Again, first in it's a raise. Somebody else comes in before me. I throw it away. Not getting involved. Quick call from the thump man. I would think this is going to be above seven dollars. Seven even. Boom, shakalaka. Maybe he's got the diamond flush. Nope. Against the queen, against the king, and he doesn't make anything on the end. That's another person you might want to add to your buddy list. You just right click, add buddy, done. Close. Raise here. Cyber is another one I'd like to add, buddy. Make sure I got Cyber on here. Come on, Cyber. Yep. Not what I wanted. Three quarter bet, three dollars. Gotta be careful he doesn't go all the way here. Ah. That's a terrible card. I can't bluff him off of it. Oh, if he only had a draw. Look at me. I could have got money. I could have got value on the turn. Sevens, not eights. I'm 
going to flat him and just go for the set mine. He's got the money for me. There it is. Just don't want him to have the kings. Well, I haven't folded a set yet. No diamond. No diamonds in the sky. Thank you, Mr. Ayaya. I love that move. I'm going to add you to my buddy list, too. <laughs> sweet, sweet revenge. Yeah, this is the kind of tables you want to look for, folks. Ace nine way behind. That's good. We want the people like that to win some money. We're playing shorthanded here now. One out, two out. This is not worth it. Or as senior group would say, baby, I'm worth it. This hand's not worth it. He's gone. Person that was trying to come in. Just an easy fold. Again, it gets tough when you're playing four-handed because of the the blinds, the rake, and everything. It's really tough to make money. So be careful. When you sit at a six player, you don't get too low and it goes around so fast that you're just paying the site more than you make. You make. Someone doesn't come in soon or DC Fitz doesn't uh, come back with some money, I take my profits and move along or sit out myself. If he had the draw, Cyber. Nope. Lousy now. Now, four handed ace ten suited is a pretty good hand. Uh, you can't come in for just a dollar. Ugh. I don't want to give him too much in case he's got something here because he's going to push it. Yeah, see, I saved myself a little bit of money there. I'm not going to tangle with somebody with a short stack, and I, I really have no big way of winning a hand. Hmm. He may get re-raised here by Happy or Thumper. I'm out. He's out. And I'm out. We'll see if it fills back up. I'll give it a couple seconds here. But if it don't, $129 is not a bad profit for whatever time it took. Maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know. Happy came right back. So... We'll go one more time and see if we can invite somebody else in. Hate to cut the video off so short, but I also don't want to play heads up or three handed at this point. It's really because of the site. Makes the money. If I was getting rake back or something like that, it'd be a different pro process. Three dollars is too much. I'll pay the fifty cents. I won't pay a raise here.
You should bet. Six is a nice hand. Well worth a pot size bet. He was just saying he had something. He wanted to see if I had anything, if I was afraid of the ace. I could actually raise with that hand. That's not that bad for hand. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, letting, I'm trying to let these guys make mistakes. I like that money right there or that money right there. They can have that money right there. Woo! If I wasn't at a position here and there was another call, I might do it. I might do it, but that's too too steep for the seven six at a position. Actually, I'd rather have the seven six at a position than the king five. One more loop around. We'll see what happens. See if we get another player in or not. Very interesting. Hope you all started to see the final nine at the World Series of Poker last night. I think it's on again tonight, November the 9th, for the November 9th. I didn't get a chance to see it, but hope you did. All right, well, I'm Al Spath, and it's been my pleasure to bring you this video this morning. Sometimes sessions are short. This table's not filling up. I'll, I'm happy with $129. You check the time on the video. Again, one or two hands get you some money. One or two big hands get you dinner. This has been Al Spath. I hope you check me out on YouTube. It's Al Spath, two words here on, on Twitch. It's Al Spath all together. And alspath at alspath.com is my email. Thank you so very much for watching.